Hello everyone. A formidable display of willpower and technique gave uh, world champion Magnus Carlsen victory over challenger Jan Lepomniacci in the sixth game. Magnus Carlsen now leads three and a half to two and a half. We're delighted once again to have with us to review the game X World champion Gary Kasparov. Gary, big welcome. Thank you. It um, looks like Magnus pulled out uh, some of his uh, bullet and blitz repertoire for uh, for this game, this is one D I, 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 I kept telling you, you know, that yeah. this is this is this. You remember, you you were smiling at me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. this is this. I didn't know about Knight of Three G Three, but I thought about him playing something, you know, just D four C four. Did I tell you? And um, yeah. going for a long middle game, not not uh, not uh, pretending yet uh, to have any real advantage in the opening. So it's all about long game. That was Magnus' goal. I think I was right. That was his goal, though. Yeah. It's it, it eventually did work for him after eight uh, nearly eight hours of play and uh, yeah <laughs> and uh, and uh, after they played the longest game, I'm sure longest game in the history of world championship matches. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah. of course, you know, Jan Jan helped him to 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 score this game because yeah. you know it's yeah. uh, it was it, it it's it was very you know. A thrilling show, but it could go either way. Yeah, and oh, no, absolutely, absolutely. It was um, so. It started with uh, d4, knight f6, knight f3, uh, d5, and now uh, g3. Um, and Jan met this with um, uh, with e6, which uh, I guess is uh, sort of an indication that he's going to stick to his systems uh, yeah, of always. Course, yes, he wants to yeah. do and he, he doesn't want to consider, you know, bishop f5, which can kind of just stay. When I when I started playing chess, you know, it's it all, you know, it was always, you know, um, considered, you know, the easiest way for black to equalize bishop f5, e6, c6. But, but now it's the, it's eventually it leads to the game where white is trying, gradually preparing e4. So yeah. bishop g2, yeah. castle, the nassau, rook e1, knight d2, knight h4, e4. It's this, I think it's just, it's nothing. But again, Magnus probably was, uh, was happy to get quiet yeah. position. Yeah. Yeah, he had, he had and, a good uh, yeah, he had a bullet game after Bishop F five actually, so uh, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm sure he had bullet. That's that's that's. Yeah, yeah. That's just why recently, he, that's, yeah. Now I have an answer why he played all these games. <laughs> yeah, so he, he has been practicing. So, um, but I, I think yeah. Mag Magnus found a, an interesting idea actually. I mean, Bishop G two, Bishop B seven, castles, castles, B three, oh, yes. and, and now instead of C four, he plays B three. So he just wants yeah. to. To, to avoid, you know, Catalan. So I think it's after B6, black is okay. I mean, this is, that's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah B6 is uh, the main move, yeah, yeah. B6 and Bishop B6, this is, that's, you know, it's a... Why does a double fan get to, but it's typically doesn't offer much, but it's it's a game, it's a game. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and Jan is not an expert in this in this kind of structure. So Jan tries to sort of to um, open the center instantly. And, uh, yeah. and yeah, I guess interesting. It, I, I guess bishop takes c5 was was maybe slightly inaccurate. Yeah, I think maybe knight c6 was uh, um, was a little bit better because yeah, then is, Magnus doesn't get yeah. his idea of this c4 and queen c2. Then um, it's yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was because yeah. it, this was this was very this was very clever. I mean, uh, I yeah. thought it was uh, c4 and then this little oh, move queen c2. Queen c2. Yes, yes, that's, that's, yeah. that's good. Yeah, yeah, and um, and then after after queen e7, uh, most natural move. Uh, then uh, yeah, knight bd2 with this uh, offering this. Which pool is interesting tactic. again, sacrificing the pawn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's you know it should be okay for black, but I think you'd really need to have uh, looked at it very carefully. I mean, I think c takes b3, knight takes b3, um, then bishop d6, um, and then afterwards uh, something like uh, either knight fd4 or, um, yeah, that, or knight fd4 is the most natural move. Yeah, or knight, f, knight fd2 as well. You know, to go to come around to c4. And uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, this is just uh, this needs some accuracy from Black, I think. To uh, um, Magnus, yeah. Magnus was not afraid to sacrifice the pawn because he had a very active player, and that's, that's what yeah. he thought yeah. might be the best choice against Nepo. And actually, Nepo found you know the interesting, very interesting response. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. I mean, Knight C Knight C four, and and it looks pretty bad for Black. I mean, C four just you know it's the because the Bishop on C eight is passive, and if White managed to play Bishop B two and Knight E five, then it's, it's it's really bad. But he played B five. Yeah, B five. I mean, E five was interesting as well, but I think B five was probably uh, the cleanest, um, definitely. So um, uh, B five, and then Knight C E five. He played Knight B four, Queen B two. Yeah, bishop and Bishop B seven here. And, yeah, and uh, he's, he's, he solved the problem with the Bishop, and then Black is Black is fine. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, here here there was still something interesting. I mean, Bishop G five was uh, was quite interesting. Yeah, that's, what, that's, that's what I thought would be the best choice, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I mean, H uh, six, Bishop H four. You go G five, and then I go A three. You know, this was the um, uh, the main line. I, lo I looked at all sorts of lines with knight takes G five, but they just don't work. Um, and then after A three, we go uh, G takes H four, takes takes. And uh, yeah, I mean, in principle, black's fine, but there's some some imbalance at least, you know. Um, no. What what Magnus did was very yeah very calm, but it, he was going for the long game, I guess, you know. Just uh, but I thought he might end up being a little bit worse somehow, you know. But um, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I was a bit, a bit uh, hmm, yeah thinking, uh, not quite sure how this is going to go. But knight d3, bishop b6, bishop g5, rook g8. He just took on f6, you know. I was a bit surprised somehow, you know. But um, uh, Okay, uh, G takes F six from uh, from Napo and uh, Rook C one and now Knight D four. Whoa, 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 whoa! It here is can it could go even E five. Yeah, E five. That was what. Uh, yeah, that's just to just to 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 look for initiative. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, this was uh, Knight, Knight H four, Knight H four, yeah. Knight D four. Yeah, yeah. This is possible. And then we go. Um, yeah, B four. I played quite a few engine games from here. B four. Uh, Bishop takes G two takes Rook C eight, E three. Queen b7 check, king g1, maybe something like knight e6 coming to g5. I mean, it's, it, there's there's some danger there. You know, it's it's quite unclear for both sides, and I quite I like. Know, but this is like, yeah, I understand. Well, Jan didn't want to take any risk, you know. Yeah, yeah. The that, but I think it was um, it was yeah, it was it was very active indeed. I mean, this was uh, here, here. You sort of wonder, you know, is, is Magnus somehow going to create something? But um, but I think what was what was very interesting was uh, I mean, Magnus I think was really. He was really playing for, for for the win somehow, you know. And uh, I think here he was he was just offering this this queen for two rooks, and you know who knows what the assessment is, you know. But uh, but he he was you know that was he was looking for that sort of imbalance, I think. But um, mm -hmm. I think that that Jan played it very very well. I mean uh, you know I mean it's uh, uh, a five is a good move to to have the possibility of a four, king g seven also uh, very sensible to uh, and now after rook d two yeah Jan decided yeah, well, to go. Well, this year is this is the uh, what it's what immediately you know just you know, I think just makes sense. It, can it after rook d two play b four? Rook d two played b four. Oh okay. Yes. Um, your, rook, your, rook, your rook on d two is provoking me to play bishop c three. Ah okay ah. yeah. So um, uh, okay yeah so a takes b four I can't particularly do this yeah, because you're going to take. Gonna take you're going to take on F two, yeah, I guess. Uh, no, then take, take on F two, and then take just okay. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Uh, yeah then you're then you're yeah. doing uh, you're doing very well there. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah B four, B four, and um, if I take with the uh, with a knight on B four, you're going to take on C two. Yeah, okay, and then go yeah, bishop. Then, then, then you will bishop F two. Now I yeah. will exchange. Yeah, okay. So yeah, B four looks it looks interesting. Yeah, it's. Uh, um, yeah, maybe this is uh, maybe this is a very good uh, a very good idea somehow. It's um, yeah, I mean rook c8 was was very very double edged. I mean I don't know. I mean these two rooks against queen positions, I, I'm always confused by them. I, I get very uh, very worried about them. But um, no, I think, look, this is this with 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 the queens with with pawns on both sides. Queen has some advantage. Bishop is not you know well coordinated with with queen, but but still black should be doing fine. Yeah, yeah. So queen d5. Um, B4, A4, which looked very tempting for Black, um, and now E3, and uh, yeah, now now we get the, the the moments where Black could have gone, you know, Bishop B2 immediately somehow, and uh, Young sort of uh, delayed it a little bit, and that made it slightly slightly uh, more tricky. He would play Bishop E5. Yeah, Bishop B2 was a draw, probably. Yeah, Bishop B2 was a draw. Um, rook C5, Queen, Queen D6. D6 takes queen d3 and then this nice move rook c2 and then queen a3 rook takes b5 and this should this should end up as a draw so um yeah yeah so uh this should have been a draw but um yeah bishop b5 played h4 h5 king h2 and now jan went for uh for bishop b2 which was uh i guess kind of a kind of a blunder but um uh yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. very sharp sure. it, it, it may have worked yeah, it may well have worked. I mean, Magnus played the the best move instantly. He played uh, rook c5. Um, Jan played the most natural move, queen d6. And uh, yeah, I mean, this was the the crucial moment. Um, I mean, rook c c2 was yeah. um, apparently very an attack, yes. Yeah, an attack. But it, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's, 
yeah, it's very hard, very hard to really, uh, you know, grasp how strong it is. But uh, but somehow, um, um, you know, White just manages to get the uh, uh, the rooks in the seventh. Um, you know, rook c seven afterwards, and uh, and then you know lines up on f seven or something. It's incredible. I mean, uh, but, it, but, it, but it's again for machine, it's easy for humans. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, you know, it's, yeah, it's yeah. I mean, so I, I, yeah, I think Magnus was more thinking about you know how do I survive this somehow at uh, at this stage. Yeah, but you saw the yeah, eliminated pawns and then you know winning the end game. You know because this is weak pawn on h five. So I think Magnus already had an idea of eventually sacrificing exchange and having you know this rook and knight versus queen. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think you're right. It's um, uh, so I mean, bishop takes a three was played. Um, rook takes b five, queen d seven, very unpleasant move, hitting the rook, forcing it to move away. Rook c five, yeah, and then okay. uh, here you could have taken on before, yeah. Yeah, bishop b four was uh, was a, a very good move. Um, yeah, good. natural move, taking the pawn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Rook c1, bishop b7. Yeah, and uh, um, I mean, I, th I think there's some, you know, some very narrow ways to uh, uh, to a draw, but I mean, uh, I don't know whether, you know, whether it's humanly possible to find them. I mean, knight e5, rook d7 was um, was what they... Uh, yeah, okay, but wh white had to fight for a draw. Exactly. I mean, this is, uh, you have to bring the rooks back to d1, uh, you know, cover the first rank and then just hope you, you can wait, you know, I mean, it's, uh, Black has all the chances in this position, yeah. you know, yeah. so, uh, yeah. yeah, this was, this was really good. I mean, I, I guess that Jan wanted to, uh, to really keep that extra control. I mean, he played, uh, e5 here. Well, and, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's not bad. Yeah, no, it's a good move. It's a good move as well. And, uh, I mean, yeah. here Magnus really needed to find, uh, the move e4, which looks very, yeah. very risky. Which is um, very, I mean, that's, you don't want to play e4, you know, unless it's... No, I yeah. mean, not, not, certainly not with, uh, you know, when you're that short of time. So he, he played rook c2. Um, sure you're going to have taken one before. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think it's just that there's one really clever thing that you need to spot. I mean, after bishop b4, rook c c1, I mean, you're threatening knight b4 and this knight e5. So you need to, to play this move bishop a3. And when you get attacked with rook a1, you need to find this great move. Queen g4, yeah. Yeah, this is the move. Yeah, need. yeah. And white is in big trouble. Yeah, rook a3 allows uh, queen takes d1. And then, yeah, you just move the bishop away, a3. And uh, you have everything then. Yeah, the knight's dominated on top of that. And, uh, you know, uh, black yeah. is winning, I it, think. It, uh, it's, know. yeah, it's it's bad. Yeah, yeah, really bad. I mean, it's, uh, so that was that that was the moment somehow, you know. And, um, uh, well, Jan played uh, queen d5, which looked also very, you know, very strong and controlling, but, Magnus instantly played this move, uh, Rook D D two, and all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, he, he, he managed to coordinate the pieces. Yeah. yeah, it's this, yeah, and it's now it's changed. Now black black is now on, has to survive. I mean, has to fight to survive. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it, it's um, I, I think especially you know that they were they were close to move forty. They only had a, maybe a minute left or something. So yeah. you know, no increments. This was a very tough one to do. And uh, well, it looks like the best move was to play um, f five here. You yeah, know, but just, that's uh, that's for humans. It's very hard to play. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jan uh, played e four, um, knight c five, queen b four, and here amazingly, Magnus actually missed. Uh, um, uh, yeah, rook d c two. Yes. Yeah, this is the one, and uh, um, the well, idea is that is paralyzed. Yes. Yeah, you you just take on a four simply, and uh, yeah. if queen takes a four, you go rook c three and pick up the bishop. And, yeah, and then, well, then then the re the rest is technique. Yes. Yeah, the rest is technique. I mean, you've got yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've got two things that can attack uh, one square, and Black's yeah. only got one of them yeah. to defend. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy win, easy win for White. Yeah, I mean, Magnus played knight takes e four, which looked uh, very similar, but of course, it gave. Uh, Young the chance. I mean, with with his last seconds, he played uh, the move king b queen b three, and uh, yeah, I mean, all of a sudden it looks you know you're getting the bishop out, you're playing a three. It looks like you're going to uh, to be okay, but uh, yeah, again, Magnus played. Um, I mean, it, it's a bit hard to understand in a way what what Magnus was doing, but um, uh, but it worked very well. I mean, he brought the knight to f four, of course. No, but it's to, uh, again. It is, he definitely uh, he, he brought down on f four. So and then he just so oh, somehow you know you could you know just uh, sacrifice on a three and uh, yeah. um, and uh, uh, and win the end game because this black pawns are too weak. Yeah, and rook yeah. and knight could dominate. And yeah. that's again that it, it did happen in the game. Yeah, yeah, no, it was uh, it was uh, it just went you know all around somehow. But uh, yeah, Magnus just started bringing his uh, his knight round to d four, maybe to c two, and uh, but still and it's, 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 yeah. it's not a big deal. Uh, Jan, Jan took this decision somehow oh, to... Well, uh, why, why, why do you play queen e4? 
Yeah, this was uh, this was a bit of a question, really. Uh, um, yeah, why 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 the boy twenty four? Yeah, I think if he if he just plays, I mean, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure what White is doing here because I mean, Knight C two, I go Bishop E five simply. I think so. Exactly, uh, like King G King G seven. Yeah, King G seven or King G six. It looks, you know, yeah, it what looks are, like it. Go with the King G six. Yeah. What, 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 I don't see what's the what's the what's what's the point. So what's the? No, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't sure either what um, what Magnus's plan was in this position. It, it, it's um, a draw, and this is and the Queen E four was. A, I don't think he underestimated maybe a Rook takes H three. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. I, or, or maybe maybe I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe he thought he you know just some some blindness or something. He thought after King G one he had something like Bishop G three or or something. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, but it's yeah. I don't know. I and, don't know. And now 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 first time I've got real, real winning chances. First time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, exchanging pawn h three to pawn h four. That was not a smart idea. No, no. I mean, this uh, it's just uh, yeah. I mean, White just can just carry on forever here and uh, and do what he likes. And but, I don't know. But he did well. I mean, Nepo did well. I mean, he, he had been defending really well. He did. He did brilliantly. Time. Yeah, he did brilliantly. I mean, um, uh, Magnus was you know coming with these little moves. You can ask. Yeah, I mean, you have to do something at some stage. So you know, I mean, yeah. uh, I wasn't sure about f three f four, but uh, yeah, okay. Um, you know the, the pieces are just getting moved, and uh, yeah, somehow Magnus managed to line up on this f5 pawn after an awful lot of maneuvering. Um, you know, but I thought Nepo was 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 just holding it. I, I really thought he was going to make it because uh, I couldn't really yeah. imagine. You know, uh, yeah, why is being Bishop able to... seven? Is Bishop seven was a good move here. I think so. Um, I mean, it's um, you know it keeps the um, uh, it was natural, yeah. but it was the good yeah move. yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's. Uh, um, yeah, rook e7, bishop c5, queen d3. Yeah, some tactics starting to come in here, and uh, and this is where it, it just started going uh, a bit wrong somehow. And uh, queen c2, rook b5, and by magic, yeah, the rooks are lining up on this f5 pawn. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, so we got, I mean, yeah, but and again, these tactics were, were quite uh, quite nice because queen d3 was played with uh, yeah, some nice ideas. I mean, if we go uh, Rookie five will have uh, will have bishop yeah, three check. Yeah. yeah, but um, but yeah, Magnus spotted this um, uh, this beautiful idea of um, of uh, just taking on f seven simply, and uh, after king takes f seven, rook b seven, then he was playing this end game. Yeah, and this end game, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've seen many draws. Uh, <laughs> with engine games in this, but I, I would never think I could hold it with uh, with black. Yeah, but this is ironically this is this is black. You know, black shoot is, you know, it's it's typically you know you want to exchange pawn, but I think here you know black needed to keep the dude, uh, three pawns on board and pawn h five, and oh. I think somehow yeah, because it, it keeps yeah. the white king, it keeps the white king. Uh, yeah, because it's, exactly so, because it's more difficult for white king to get activated. Yeah, I yeah, know this yeah, is, yeah. Yes, protecting the pawns, you know, leaves a little room for white king, and it's, yeah. when the pawns were eliminated, you know, he just he, he had he had more 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 freedom, you know, just to coordinate pieces, and also yeah. G three pawn is potential weakness. Yeah, so that's yeah. why you don't want to. So uh, I would probably go like here, queen b one, queen d one, somewhere just was a queen, and just yeah. go to h one. So that's that's the yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a that's a really good that's a really good that's, insight. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's what I would do. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because somehow um, I'm not even sure the king on g6. Maybe you can keep king on f8 or just you know I'm not sure where you have to with the king on. Yeah, the, yeah, it's maybe nice. Because, yeah, just keep the knight out of the um, uh, out of the range of the knight. Yeah, I think well, I, I, I would rather play queen b1 instead of queen d5 because you know it's preventing knight d4, knight f3 because I don't like his knight going on f3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, queen b1. Did, Prevents, yeah, night, 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 because ninety four queen b two check. Yeah, yeah, that's going to uh, queen b two check here. Yeah, and then uh, well, and then queen h two. Then I just go back. So that's, that's, yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. I want. I want to start attacking. Yeah, so that's the cre it's nasty because the pawn just is still there. It's it's weak. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that's a really good. Yeah, that's a really good insight. Um, yeah, I, I was assuming that uh, what what uh, Jan did uh, swapping the h pawn was natural, but yeah, it, somehow the Magnus King then got so active it was. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean this. Um, uh, it, it was sort of <laughs> you didn't really understand how it all happened, but uh, I mean Magnus was just playing around, basically trying to get uh, the pawn to e4. Of course, that was his first uh, his first plan here. Um, Jan playing, yeah, pretty well really. I mean just uh, just being a bit awkward. Um, yeah, Magnus playing around all these moves. 
it's uh, it's funny. I mean, you know, somehow it's uh, not very much is happening, but it's well somehow really thrilling as well. You know, you're you're just wondering whether Jan is going to make this or um, or not. Um, and then so this is when it, now now yeah. Jan decided to move yeah. the night. Yeah, it somehow it, somehow it, this was where it all already started. So um, mm -hmm. Queen B four, uh, Rook D one, Queen B three, Rook D six, check, and then this move Rook D four and. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, yeah. I mean, um, Jan's just, uh, yeah. I mean, e4 is coming in basically. I mean, that's uh, yeah. Knight on e2, e4, e5, so you can activate yeah, the pawns. Exactly. Now, apparently, you know, yeah, he, you should just uh, stay like this, let the pawn go to e5, and uh, ask White what he's going to do next. You know, and apparently, it's very yeah. difficult. Yeah, but again, Jan, keeping uh, pawn on g3, you know, that's that's that would limit White's White's king maneuver. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, it's a really good point. I mean, uh, so yeah, Jan, yeah, played played for this H four move. Yeah, that's. I think that's. I think H four. That's a big mistake. Yeah, yeah. For for a human, certainly is. I mean, uh, you're into a table based draw, but uh, yeah. Now now Magnus. No, got but that's 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 different because now it's 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 only machine can hold it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, I thought. Yeah, you know, I thought Magnus did it did it beautifully. I have to say. Um, well, you know, he you just found this beautiful idea of, um, yeah, the king goes uh, goes safe to uh, just on this side. The knight comes to g3, and then he brings his rook on the fifth rank and brings his king in. It was, uh, yeah. yeah, I, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah he, did, he did brilliantly. Yes, he did absolutely brilliantly. Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I, I was yeah, looking rook, at uh, rook d5. Yes, brilliant. Yes, yeah, yeah. This was, and, uh, and, now, and now his king can get activated. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really uh, everything just uh, crawling forward. The king protected. It's uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I I didn't, uh, I, didn't see any, maneuvering, yeah. I didn't see any of this, you know. And uh, yeah, this was really impressive. And now uh, queen h six. Actually, queen h six is apparently the losing move uh, from a table point base point of view. And from now on, Magnus, you know, just played the just played the table base. Was, I mean, are you saying this was still a draw? This was still a draw. Apparently, here it was still a draw. Uh, don't ask no, me what move it was, but something like Queen A2 or something, you know, was uh, was still uh, ah. still a draw. Yeah, so ah. it's. Uh, but Queen I thought A2... it was already. Yeah, but hey, maybe yeah, right. It's, it's having Queen, you know, somewhere. I mean, yeah, instinctively, you don't want Queen to, to to have to close because then you know, you know, there's then Knight and Rook, you know, they can not to, not dominate Queen, but uh, they are no longer no longer you know um, suffering from Queen's you know uh, attacks, fire yeah. attacks. Yeah, yeah, that's right. you definitely want you know you know use the power of the queen and uh, yeah move like queen a two is, I, I I thought what black was losing but it's definitely was the best chance. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. It's uh, yeah, what happened here was was actually quite beautiful. I mean, the queen got uh, got got really enclosed after queen h seven. Magnus played this gorgeous move e six. Um, so obviously queen takes rook allows knight g seven check, and after king queen g six he played. Uh, yeah, rook f7, which was uh, you Oof. know again, yeah. again really yeah, nice, you know, yeah. perfect stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then king d8, f5, and then this was a nice last move, knight g7, just yeah. giving g8 for the king. And uh, yeah, yeah, Jan yeah, great, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, classy play and really hard luck on Jan, who who put up a magnificent defense and and could have won. You know, I mean, he was he was winning. Uh, you know, I think uh, yeah, at one point, yes, this is this, yeah, so, it's, um, yeah. I think the draw would be a more just result, but again, it's who who talks about justice in, in the world championship yeah, match? Yeah, so it's, it's, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. look, it's, the, it's 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 a real match, and it's the it's uh, yeah. Well, now now it's a big test for Jan. Yeah, he lost yeah, the game. Yeah. It's nearly eight hours. You know, uh, he missed his chance. So what happens tomorrow? So I'm, I'm very yeah. curious. I am, um, I think I'm a little bit surprised if Magnus will try to, um, to basically win the match tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I Just, uh, I, I don't know if he if he if Jan plays e4 again. I have no idea if he plays e4, c4. But uh, if say he plays e4, I may I will not be surprised for Magnus changing the opening, trying to actually. To have another long game and yeah. expecting Jan to collapse after this very painful loss. Yeah, yeah, I think a long game is definitely what Magnus wants uh, tomorrow. If he can uh, sort of force Jan to think for a long time, uh, yeah, that would be, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Magnus, Magnus is is he's in he seemed to be enjoying this somehow. You know, it was uh, after move forty, he was uh, he was you, you could see from his expression he was he looked so you know so happy really to uh, to be playing this position and and, and all of this. So uh, yeah. Big test for Jan. I mean, Gary, you were fantastic at getting back from uh, from losses, and uh, you know, we, when you had white after a loss, you're always even more fearsome than normally. I mean, yeah, not not not, 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 not in London in the year 2000, but typically, yes, I was. Yeah, yeah, I was good. So, and but look, it's um, 
it's 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 a big challenge because again it, this is not just a loss it's 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 a long long game very exhausting yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and and uh, uh you know that you made mistakes you know that you know uh okay you you, you could have hold uh, the game the end game but end game is i wouldn't blame jan and i don't think he if he's blaming himself now is of course for not taking on before yeah yeah that's yeah. this is that's very hard to 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 explain and uh, and i think that's that could be a nightmare that could be a real nightmare yeah, 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 yeah. But again, that's the it's the I can say that to those who said, oh, it will be easy walk for for Magnus this this match. Okay, he was he was very close today, and yeah, uh, yeah. the match could go the the other way, and uh, that might be a really bad bad blow to Magnus. Yeah, so, but yeah. Now he's he's ahead, and um, yeah, it's um. Let's see how you know how Nepo survives you know this 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 challenge because he yeah, he yeah. always had you know that's the I think that's how we call him box. Boxing uh, glass jaw, yeah, glass jaw. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The glass, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, yeah. But he he did better, you know, um, at the later stage. But now, I wonder. That's the yeah. That's, yeah, the, the, that's a test for his uh, for his stamina and resilience. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, but I think you know if he plays keeps on playing the way he has done so far, he will get chances because he's had them against Magnus so far. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this yeah. Is, it's not that he's is 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 it, the match is not one. It's anything but one sided. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so let's uh, tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Something to watch. Okay, okay. good. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks very much, Bye -bye. Gary. Bye. Bye.